Last year, Disneyland Paris celebrated its 30th anniversary, and so, lots of special additions were put in place for the milestone. From new food options to a new land and a special drone show, there was something for everyone. Now, in classic Disneyland Paris style, the celebrations were extended through 2023 and received the name 30th Anniversary Grand Finale. During this year, guests will be able to meet old friends and delight themselves with new additions. So, let's explore everything confirmed coming to Disneyland Paris in 2023. Hey there and welcome to the Main Street News. If you're new and enjoy the video, make sure to like and consider subscribing. If you're interested, join our Discord and follow us on Twitter. Links are in the description. Last summer, Avengers Campus, the newest Walt Disney Studios land, opened to the public. With it came a new ride, Spider-Man Web Adventure, and a repurposed one, Avengers Assemble Flight Force. Right after opening, it was reported that important people within the company were not impressed with the quality of Flight Force, the same as guests. While the queue and pre-shows are very well done, the ride itself is quite lackluster, because trains enter a mostly dark soundstage with just some screens here and there trying to hold the story by themselves. Well, today Disney finally spoke out about this and confirmed that changes will be made to the ride. This is what they said. Over at Avengers Assemble Flight Force, some additional show lighting will be added over the course of next spring. The attraction will remain open to visitors during its installation. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like too much will be added to the ride, only additional show lighting. But there's a lot that can be done with lights. One example would be to add a star's effect. With this, it would feel less like a dark soundstage and more like actual space. Here's a fan rendering of what it could look like if this were the case. I think this would do wonders to the amazing roller coaster. Another effect I would love to see, but probably won't happen, would be the spaceships re entering Earth, with the help of projections in the last tunnel of the ride. At the moment, guests find themselves in the middle of the battle in space and then right at the exit so this would be awesome. The attraction will remain open during the installation of these new effects, but Disney remained very vague with the announcement, so we just have to wait and see what they come up with. One of the bigger projects underway right now at the resort is the transformation of Disney Village. While the master plan is still to be released, some information has leaked regarding the scale of the entire project. For now though, only the transformation of facades and changes of the restaurants and stores are confirmed. Even if in the future an expansion may arrive, let's focus on what we already know and quickly check the progress that has already been made. The transformation hotspots are the Cafe Mickey, Disney Fashion Junior and the King Ludwig's Castle restaurant. Planet Hollywood has already closed as well since last month and the sign has been removed. Looking at the construction underway, we can see that the Café Mickey transformation into the Brasserie Rosalie is going well and that all around the work sites, the iconic and rusty original Disney Village columns are starting to go down as workers dismantle them. The Disney Fashion Junior store will soon receive a new facade, which will be used as a test to try out the look and feel before moving on to the rest of the village. Talking about facades, King Ludwig's, soon to be called the Royal Pub, has also changed and is getting an update before reopening. Both Rosalie and the Royal Pub will open this year, with Fashion Junior probably as well. I can't wait for Disney to announce the rest of the village project in order to explore everything coming to the shopping and dining area of the resort. Some weeks ago, a lot of information regarding the grand finale was announced and I made a video on that. Let's go back and check if there have been any updates on this, starting with the Avengers show. Guests can now enjoy, since a few days ago, a brand new and exclusive show in Walt Disney Studios. Avengers Power the Night mixes music, projections, fireworks and up to 500 drones to make the end of the day as amazing as possible. 
This was the first of the additions to the grand finale celebrations and will be available until May 8th. So make sure to check it out before that day. While no actual reason has been given to why the show will last so little time, I think it could have something to do with the operations of the park. Because of the show, both Avengers Campus and Tower of Terror have to close one hour earlier. These combined are almost half of the park capacity. So during the very high season that is the summer, it would generate some problems. But that's my theory. The show itself looks incredible and I highly recommend you check it out. The grand finale also brings with it a new show for the old Cinemagique Theatre, also known as Studio Theatre. Here guests will be able to take part in a musical adventure alongside their favorite Pixar characters to discover how music and friendship brings us together. Studio already has an amazing show with Nick and a Magician that joins so many Disney movies and music together with amazing technology. Studio Theory is full of incredible technology as well, so I hope it gets some very much needed love as Disney has been using it as a meet and greet location for far too long. We don't know as of yet the opening date of the new show, but it'll be during the summer. If I were to guess, perhaps around the same time as Avengers Power Tonight Night ends in early June, but Disney is still to confirm anything. The fan-favorite Disney Dreams will be making its grand return this year as well. This show opened on April 1st, 2012 for the 20th anniversary of the resort. It was then replaced by Disney Illuminations in 2017, which has remained ever since. This show was basically a copy of the Shanghai Disneyland Ignite the Dream and doesn't use some of the effects created for Dreams like the water screens making it a less impressive show. Now, on to the good news. The show will be updated with new laser projectors, which will use half the power the current ones need. The LED technology on the rooftops of the castle will play a part in the new version of the show. This was added last year for the Christmas season, but it looks like that it's not only staying, but other roofs or turrets will also be receiving them. At the moment we can see that only 7 turrets have these LEDs, but Disney said that additional LEDs will be installed. And seen in this concept art, we can count up to 15 turrets. Let's hope they do install them in each and every one, because they are amazing. Guests will be able to watch this nighttime spectacular starting in April 12th, just over 2 months from now. And now, at last, we arrive at It's a Small World. This classic and beloved attraction has been under refurbishment for a long time, but it's finally opening this spring. I've spoken several times about the refurbishment, but to give an idea, there has been a lot of technical works inside the show building, bringing the technology up to date. I expect some changes in the scenes and backgrounds of the ride. The facade and queue have also received some updates and it looks like they are getting ready to open. Disney hasn't released a date as of yet, but said that it will be during this spring, so you won't have to wait much longer to go to the happiest cruise that ever sailed. Which new edition are you most looking forward to? Let me know down below so we can have a chat. That's it for the 2023 Disneyland Paris Confirm Editions. Remember to like and subscribe if you're interested. And now, as always, thank you for watching. And that's a wrap.